Okay, Rocky's in the pen. This little Honda's out. Going for a bit of a spin today. Gonna go to a place called Kong Meng, old Chinese mine site. Something of interest. We'll catch you out there. Okay, we've hit the forest. And we're, uh, we're on the feeling 100% today, but the show must go on. The uh, little Honda's running all right. Had to go get some fuel. Don't want to have that situation again. Uh, we're going out to an old Chinese mine site. It's quite large. Called Kong Meng. And there used to be uh, underground tunnels out there that have all been closed in over the years and they're literally kilometres long and they were big enough to actually put a horse they used to lower a horse down into them and with horse and carts that's how big the tunnels were now as far as I know they're all full of water from a uh, water course called Deep Lead whether that's true or not that's the story um, literally they used to travel these tunnels from a place called Majorca, depending on where you're from. Some pronounce Mallorca, but it's Majorca here. Um, these tracks are washed out a bit, Whew, a bit deep. Um, and they'd go all the way to a place called Carisbrook and just pass there, all underground. And that's history that's still there, but you can't see it. It's all covered in. And I just wonder if they'd ever collapse, how deep they were. Geez, the tracks are all overgrown, it's like these, the bushes never used to hang into the track like that. see there's some blokes a bit of a bit of a patriot lives in there he's got his mosquito flat sign on his dam he's a bit of a prepper he's got all the pumpkins growing there and he's got all these fruits and everything's all ready and sells a bit of it but I think it's preparing for the inevitable <laughs> when things go to pot Was out here the other day in the last video but we're just cruising past that's the old mosquito tailings there keep going a bit further on so I'll catch you where you haven't seen we're at uh, water pipeline track and Leighton Road which I don't know when they named it Leighton Road but Okay, but it's actually just a power line. A few nice little washes. Got to watch out for, for the old uh, odd kangaroo through here. They tend to just dart out in front of you. And there's some tracks that you got to watch out for cars coming along. Like there's one coming in here. come out into the country where it's uh, more open it's actually my uh, sister's property not that house there but one over those hills over there and that's all their property you can see there I think there's a fair few thousand acres they own but now but we'll continue on and head off on a bit of uh, expedition on a bit of tar up here but once we get up here, we can uh, turn back on and I'll show you where this Kong Meng is. Now, it's been a while since I've been out here. It's like an old slime deposit. 
where they used to wash all the dirt and whatnot. A few mullock heaps. Don't know if you can go up over this or not. Four drives play on it, but I don't know if it goes right over a bit of check. Oh yeah, it does. It's scalloped out, but we're good. a big one. Saying it's all this white slime. You, you, you're asking for bad things to happen to all the bearings in your motorbike if you come out here in the wet because it gets like really sloppy and oh there's some there. You can see the different colour of it and oh and when it gets on your bike or in your on your four-wheel drive or something you will spend forty dollars at the car wash to try and get that stuff off it just doesn't want to come off but it's a pretty cool spot See what it gets like from the four drives marks there when it gets wet. This is pretty terrible. We used to come flying through here back when we were young and dumb. Now they've got it all chewed up. But you come flying around here and hit it as fast as you could go. And it used to be a little bit steeper, but you go flying up here and just launch off there and land way out here. And I think one of my mates had the record of, I think it was 73 feet. Oh, Benny Bakes. Some bigger old mullet keeps. There was a guy of Leech. I can't remember what his first name was. And he had a CR500. And he came up. Believe it or not, we all watched it. Man, I wish we had video back then. It was about probably the late 80s. And he came flying through. And he came flying from down there. There's a fence line down there where them green trees are. And he hit that mullock heap, flew through the air, and landed on the back side of this mullock heap on this side. Oh, I've had a fail. Oh well, things like that happen. Not enough run at it. Coming from a turn, that's what happens. I'll hit it from a different angle. Yeah, should be able to go up there. Yeah, so he flew through the air and went straight over here and landed on that back edge there. Way over. Crazy. I thought he was trying to kill himself. Because this is quite steep. Great. These rocks, it's like riding in sand because they're so big, they sort of just move around under you. Pretty cool little spot, though. <coughs> oh, 
four drives have been through and wrecked all this. Careful, there's not just big drops on the other side of some of these. Great little spot. That's it. He's been out and made a bit of a mess over there. Is that thing I tried to get up before. Go down this way this time. Ah, uh, four drives are wrecked all that one. I'm not going to do it on this bike. They've chopped it all out. There's all wallops, scallops all the way up it. I'll bring out my husky and do that. Anyway, that's Kong Ming, guys. A lot of fun here if you've got kids on mini bikes and that. Just try and keep it toned down a little bit and you'll have a ball. Good spot. Anyway, Catch you next time.